Hi class, today we're going to talk about using Mac Excel and Max Stat Plus for linear regressions as well as the line fit plots. Let's get started. We're going to open our, our Word and we're going to see what the prompt is. Does knowing the work experience of an employee enabled us to predict their annual wages? The key word in here is predict, so we know we're going to use a uh, regression test to find this out. Go ahead put this away here. Let's open up the, the practice workbook that goes along with it. And here are uh, here are two variables. So very simply we're gonna now that we have this open we're gonna open stat plus. We see it's open because it's in the status bar. Go over statistics, come down to regression, select linear regression. Go to this icon here, click on that, and it'll select the Excel application for us. And our dependent variable is using the annual wages. If you have any questions on which is the independent or dependent, you can look to use the Stallnaker te technique. I'm going to hit Command Tab to go back to the application. Click this, go to the independent variable, click and highlight that, go back to Stamp Plus and uh, make sure labels in first row is checked off because we have labels in our first rows here and we highlighted those. Advanced options, we want it to make a line fit plot for us. That will save us some time. Click on OK. You can go to preferences if you like. Make sure everything is up to, up to par here. Click OK again. Uh, we are looking at 5% there. And I chose uh, to keep it at two decimal places but you can do it however you like. If you wanted to go up to um, you know, 15 you can do that but I would suggest if you did a higher number to use scientific notation to save space. We're going to go to 2 just for ease of use in this example. Click on OK there as well. I'll click here and it will output all of our information to a new Excel workbook. I'm going to go ahead and click and highlight and hit Command C and that will copy everything and I'm going to paste that into our practice workbook alongside our data set and I'm also going to come back here and I'm going to right here and instead of copy paste which I can which I can do with the keyboard I'm going to just copy and paste by right click copy minimize by hitting the minus button and I'm going to right click in M1 cell M1 and I'm going to hit paste same thing, just a different way of copy and paste. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here, give us some space. I'm going to open up all of these cells just so we can read all of our statistics. Now, one thing is our chart looks a little bit different than uh, than it does in the example for PC. On page 7, go down here, we can see that predicted annual wages is graphed not as a line, but it's plotted through a scatter plot. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to have to amend ours. It's in there. Now, the easiest way to select it is instead of searching through there and finding it, uh, you may be clicking on a line if you just click there. So, it's, it's blue and... Uh, and what we're going to do here is when you go uh, under charts, if you go to chart layout, it's very important you go to this drop down menu. And go to predicted Y. And you can see it's selected all on here. As it is predicted Y, what you wanted to do is see it as a scatter plot. You wanted to see the diamonds or the squares, however, but it's not. So. Uh, what we're going to do is go back to click on chart, click on scatter, marked scatter, and it marks it for us. Now we now we see that we're missing our predicted line, uh, lines on here. Um, so what we're going to do is we are already in this charts area. We go to quick charts layout. It's layout number nine. We're going to go here to the end, hover over it. You'll see that it says layout nine. You can click on it. It has the f of x function has the line and it has the marked scatters on there along with the legend on the side so that's how you know how to identify it. If you look at it again 
you have uh, be very careful you only see one of these right here one of these equations there are actually two now if we compare this with that that in our practice workbook now it's now it's beginning to take shape annual wages is on on this axis and wex work experience in months is on that axis the check it's okay there it's okay there right here this seems to be okay I'm sorry I double clicked in series 2 we can go ahead and change that um, that's fairly simple I'll allow you to do that um, and we need to change the title of our chart to WEX in months line fit plot you can work to to modify this as you as you need again here are is our linear regression here we have our r-squared value there uh, everything else that that you'll need your p-value um, whatever your assignment is uh, that you need to do on it but this is how you get to the chart I think the chart is probably the hardest part of the output and here's your linear regression very simple using stat plus for Mac as well as Excel for Mac